Having a professional looking email signature can be a way for you to make a great first impression, but if you're including an image in your email signature, it's impossible to create that in Microsoft Outlook. That's why in this video, I'm gonna show you how to quickly and easily create a professional looking email signature in your Google Docs. All right, so we're in our Google Doc, and the first thing we want to do is create our table. So you just click on the Insert tab, and then Table, we want a two by one, so two column, one row, or two cells. And on the left cell, we want to insert our picture, and on the right cell, we want to insert our information. So in the left cell, I'll just insert the picture from wherever I saved it on my computer, right here. I'll double click that. And after a bit of resizing, now I can resize the left cell here to push it kind of closer to the picture that we just inserted. And then I'll also kind of resize this. And then on the right cell here, I've got a little bit more room. I can put all of my information in. And then I'll just resize that a little bit, make it bigger so it stretches out. All right, so now that's great because I've got the logo and my information matched up perfectly. If I tried to do this in Microsoft Outlook, it would not work and it wouldn't align properly and it would be really difficult to put this logo right beside all of my information, but Google Docs lets me do that very easily. Now there's one last step before we copy this over and start adding it to our email signature in Microsoft Outlook, and that is to get rid of these borders. There's a few ways you can do this, but I have a really quick and simple way. It's cheating a little bit. I'm gonna highlight the table and then where you see this dot, 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 I'm gonna click more, click table options, I do this in Word, it's a bit of a cheat, but you can use it. If you change something that you don't want to the color white, it's almost like using whiteout, where you can just kind of blend the color out. So for this one, I'm just gonna change the color from black to white, and then the borders will just uh, blend in with the page, and it's not it's like they're not even there. So I'll copy it from our Google Docs. I'll open up my Outlook, and from Outlook, I'll click on the File tab, and then go down to click the Options tab. In this window, I'll click the Mail tab, and this is where we can find our email signatures or our signature block. So click Signatures. Now, I actually want to create two different email signatures, maybe one that's a little bit more professional, that's the one that we're doing right now, and then one that has a little bit more informal. So maybe it's got a link to my Instagram and things like that. So we'll add that after, but first, we'll just create this professional one. I'll click new and name this one professional that I know that I'm using the professional email signature. Press okay. And then I can just paste what we created in our Google Doc to this box here. And that looks really nice. The logo is aligned at the top. Everything looks great. I can now choose to add this to new messages and replies and forwards as well. And then press okay. And now we could use that email signature, whether we reply to emails or creating a new email, it would appear. But let me show you just one more thing. We're gonna jump back to our Google Docs and I'm gonna show you how to create a more informal one and use pictures as hyperlinks to maybe your web page, your social media sites and things like that. So maybe you've got a more informal design like the one I've got here. Uh, we can do the same thing and then we're going to actually add some hyperlinks to some of the pictures in our informal email signature. So same technique I used before, I'm just gonna copy everything in this table. And now in our email signature, in this dialog box, I can create a new one, and then we'll call this informal, and then paste our design. All right, so now that we've got our design in our signature block, we can start adding some hyperlinks to some of these pictures. So maybe you want people to be able to click on one of these icons and then go right to your YouTube page, your LinkedIn, your Instagram, or maybe even a personal web page of yours. So the way you would do that is just to click on the icon itself, and then there's a little hyperlink button here. So click on that. And then in this part of the hyperlink dialog box, you just put in the address that you want to link the image to. This would be the address to my YouTube page. And then when I click OK, this would now be linked to my YouTube page. So I'll click OK. I'll click OK again. And now when I go to create a new email, there's our email signature block. This is the professional one. If you wanted to insert the other one, you could just go to the insert tab, click the signature drop arrow, and then add your informal one. And then you could just swap between the two based on who you were sending this to. So you just have to delete this one, insert the informal one, and you could switch it up. Now, once you've made a great first impression with your professional looking email signature, you're then gonna have to organize the people in your organization. And you could do that by using Microsoft Outlook contact cards. I'm gonna show you in this video on your screen how you can create, manage, and edit those cards and manage the people in your organization. So you've gotta check out that video there if you wanna learn how to do that. I'll see you over there. Thanks for watching, bye.